Hey, what's going on guys? Krosama here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Core Gundam, as well as the Earth 3 parts. Uh, this is... Man, this is a very unique Gundam, isn't it? It's a really, like, almost like a SD type mobile suit, but it's it's weird. It has all, like, the main, you know, proportions, except for the limbs. So the limbs are shortened, uh, and I don't really know what the uh, original pilot was thinking. Like, well, I guess what the writers were thinking when they wrote the character to develop this, you know, mobile suit. But it's weird, man, and I kind of dig it. I actually really do like the Core Gundam. I think it looks really unique. Um, it's pretty stylized. I like the way the backpack is, especially with the beam sabers kind of pointing downwards, and they flip up whenever he's ready to go ahead and utilize one of them. Um, it only has one thruster in the back, which is kind of cool because I love the Zuda so much uh, because of the one mono, uh, you know, thruster. And I don't know. It's just it's kind of cute. <laughs> it's it's super like I like SDs, but you know it's like this one's a little bit on the cuter side in my opinion because it's like oh look, it's so vulnerable. Hmm. But anyways, we're gonna be just taking a look at this and see exactly if this thing is worth all the hype. Now, if you want to pick this mobile suit up, you can go to newtypehq.com and you can use that promo code Crosama so that way you can get ten percent off your purchase. Okay, so we're taking a look at the details. The head sculpt, I think, is actually pretty cool. Um, it is going to have stickers. It's going to go for the eyes, the top camera right there, as well as the back camera. But I decided to go ahead and just, you know, paint it um, using some chrome markers as well as some green clear paint. I, actually, I'm sorry. I used uh, green metallic paint uh, because I could not find my green clear paint until it was too late so it kind of is what it is uh, and then i just used some uh black paint for the inside of the thrusters well, not thrusters the uh, vulcans right here on the side and that was pretty much it did some panel lining all over the kit now for the head sculpt i think it looks really really good i i absolutely adore this because it kind of looks like the age gundam and I, I keep not understanding why this thing is supposed to be an rx78 type mobile suit it just Man, it, it just screams Gundam Age to me, so could be just my warped opinion, but eh, I think it looks really beautiful. Now for the body, I think it's going to be looking really good. Um, I do like the darker navy blue color for the body, the singular vents right here, and then the clear green V right here on the top of the chest. Now working our way to the arms, uh, I do have a little line right there because I did transform this uh, before I actually reviewed it. And uh, it turns out that, you know, when you put the shoulder pads on there, it is going to scrape uh, any of the paint. So the way you're going to have to do it is instead of sliding the armor on, you're going to have to clamp it on the sides if you want to minimize scraping. But, you know, you may not be able to avoid it, to be honest. But the arms are going to be short and they don't really look any special i mean they're, they're kind of cool um i do like the shortened little shoulder pads right here but uh overall the arms are not going to be anything you know noteworthy and the waist is going to look a lot like the gundam age one titus once again i just don't see how this is not a age reference kit but it is what it is uh but it looks really good and working our way down to the legs, this is going to be the funniest part of the entire kit because you have this beefy upper part of the leg right here in the thigh and you start working your way down here and you're like, well, where, where even is the calf? You're just missing like a good portion of that leg and that's because just that's the gimmick of the mobile suit. Uh, but the feet are really cool and I do like the ankle skirts because I don't know, this is the only part I can see that actually looks like the RX-78-2. Otherwise, everything else is just going to be really unique and I would say even almost like scratch build uh, from the character's point of view. And once again with the backpack, you are just going to have those two beam sabers and the singular thruster. So that's pretty much going to be it with this mobile suit. And you are going to have the core beam rifle, which looks really good. Uh, love all the etched in details. Definitely something you might, you might want to just mess with when it comes to uh, painting. And you're also going to have a sticker that goes right here. But I, I decided to go use um, you know the chrome marker as well as clear green just to give it a little you know extra effect. Uh, came out a little sloppy, but hey, it is what it is. I wasn't really tr doing a little try hard on this mobile suit at all. Yeah. 
Now for articulation, the head is going to be on a double-sided ball joint. Uh, pretty good range of movement and can go back and forth. Now for the shoulder, this is going to have a kind of you know transformation gimmick, uh, but we're really not going to incorporate that one in terms of the articulation. Uh, but it is going to be on a ball joint right here at the shoulder. Arm can move about this much. Wrist is going to be on a ball joint. Rotation at the waist. These can also move, but I just would leave them as is. Now for the hip joints, they are going to be able to go pretty much all the way around, so no real issues except for right here where this is only going to be able to go out that far. Now for the knee joint, this is going to be able to come up about right here. And for the ankle and foot, this is just going to be all like one part, which is going to be for the transformation as well, but you know, it's going to have a really good range of movement, even for the foot right here. And what I meant by that is this is going to be able to move side to side to give you some really good ankle pivots. And lastly, the beam sabers can move up and down as well. And you're also going to have the core shield, which is really cool. And it's going to have this little gimmick right here where you can plug this down, plug this piece right into the backpack, and you can slap this right on here. But, you know, I think it looks a little too goofy. So, I mean, it's going right there with the thruster. So I don't think it's practical whatsoever. Now you're also going to have this other backpack piece, which is going to be for the weapon, so we're not going to focus on this right now. Instead, we'll go ahead and utilize it when we actually get the armor and the weapon pieces necessary. And then, of course, this shield can just plug in right here in the hand. Now you're also going to have two of these very short beam sabers, and just to show you comparison, here it is next to the normal beam saver that comes with the kit. Now for comparison, here he is next to the SIC Common Rider 5s and the Kix 01. And here's going to be the Earth 3 Gundam. So it's going to come with a little stand, which is really awesome. So that way I can just display the armor pieces alone and not actually have the core Gundam, you know, all suited up and not, you know, stowing all the armor pieces in some kind of cabin or something. I can have all of them just kind of chilling. This one in its little, you know, core fighter, wave rider mode, whatever you want to call it. And it's still going to look really good. And if you want, you can have your core Gundam just chill on top of the Earth armor. And I know it was featured in, what, Episode 2? And, yeah, it looked pretty good. So, uh, this might be one of your optimal poses if you really want to go ahead and choose so. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and combine both of them to make the Earth 3 Gundam. Now, for the ladies, we're just going to take this part and we're going to move this backwards like that, revealing this little slot right here in the leg. And the Earth 3 armor is going to just slide right there and we're going to push the feet up and as we're going to take the front skirts and we're just going to slide this underneath and as we're going to take is the front skirts and just slide it right underneath these parts and the back skirts just going to slide in right here take these shoulder parts and we're just going to spread them open we're going to take the bottom portion and we're just going to slide this up till it can cover right here in the front chest and then take this top portion and we're going to slap it down Shoulders are just going to slide in here, but like I said, if you don't want to scrape up that paint, you can separate it and then clamp it and just kind of like reassemble it together like that. Next, we're going to take the hand out, push this new part in, reconnect the hand, slap the hand armor right on top, rotate the beam sabers up, plug the backpack right here, and slap this V-fin right here in the center. Alright guys, and here he is in the complete Earth 3 mode. And, oh my god, I really wasn't feeling the design. I kind of thought it looked silly and just really all over the place. I didn't like the colors. I didn't really like the blue in the legs. The shoulder pads, I, I was like, eh, it's kind of whatever. But, I, I'm, I'm telling you, this is one of those effects that you build the model and it overlaps all of your opinions that you had on the, you know, just the promotional images and the anime. Um... You know, I just really didn't think this kit would look good. And, dude, this kit not only looks good in person, it feels amazing. Like, it feels super, super solid. And I was really worried. I thought, 
this thing was just gonna fall apart because it's one of those you know gimmicky transforming type of age of uh, you know high grades but that's not the case here and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the articulation okay so we're starting with the head uh, basically everything is the same the head doesn't really change in terms of uh, the articulation from the core Gundam and the body is going to remain the same because there is no other articulation it's still going to be able to go side to side now the shoulder joint as well isn't really going to change because of the fact that all that happens is this pops out during the transformation and it's still going to be on a ball joint so nothing really changing over here now the wrist is going to be on a ball joint again uh, so all that's going to happen is this just gets extended and that's pretty much it it's essentially having the same amount of articulation front skirts all going to remain the same and now the legs are pretty much going to be the same you would think that the side skirt part right here is going to block it uh, but just pretty much on the inside of the hip is going to be preventing it from going all the way up like so now this is going to be your main point of interest when it comes to articulation how it differs uh, because you know now you're just pushing the foot back and you're just sliding this giant piece uh, right here where the foot was so this is how the articulation is that's going to be the max for this point of articulation and then if you just go further I mean this is going to be almost flush with the back of the thigh so that's pretty damn good and I think overall this bend is not bad and I, I don't know man I really do enjoy it I think it looks really solid now the foot is going to be interesting this part up here is going to be on a swivel so you can pretty much go back and forth uh, that's going to like help you out whenever you're trying to get those like nice little pivot of uh, you know positions now this is going to be on a ball joint so of course you're going to have just amazing pivot right there so having this is going to allow you to do some really good ground movement but it's also going to be able to push all the way back and forward so i mean doing whether it be aerial or you're doing any kind of ground poses this is going to be fantastic and we're not done yet we still have to talk about the beam rifle so the only part about the beam rifle that's going to be really different is just going to be the this little front part right here um i mean it looks cool it has a like a Gundam Age FX vibe to it in my opinion uh, but it looks really nice and I like the overall aesthetic I, I, I don't really see any other colors in there so you're gonna have to paint some yourself but otherwise I mean it's it's kind of a unique looking beam you know beam rifle in my opinion And for the shield, it is going to look really good. Um, I do like the kind of aesthetic that it still has like the cross, much like the original uh, RX-78-2. Um, I mean, obviously there's no, there's like no similarities whatsoever outside of, you know, kind of has a little cross. Uh, I would say this really reminds me of the Force Impulse shield for whatever reason. It's kind of like what I look, you know, I look at it and I'm like, oh, kind of has that little vibe to it. Uh, but it is going to have built-in energy packs, not really... Um, something that you build but I guess it's somewhere internally and this connects to the uh, the rifle and you can go ahead and unleash a bigger energy blast another way to make the ultra hyper mega particle booster attack uh, you're just gonna like attach the little shield right here to the side of the rifle you're gonna bend this shield part like so and then you're gonna basically move this little front part from right here all the way to the back now the last set of weapons we're gonna have are going to be the beam sabers and of course you can slap the beam sabers right in there And for comparison, here he is next to the high grade RX 78 2 and the master grade RX 78 2 2.0. So, what are my final thoughts on the kit? Well, you know what? 
I think it's fantastic. I think it looks amazing. The gimmick of, you know, turning a kind of like smaller MS into a bigger MS, much like we've seen with the SDs, but I think I think done in a more practical kind of scaling. Uh, I think it works really well, and I think it's, it's super solid. It's fun to play with. Um, I think it's fun to put into different poses, and it has a really good aesthetic. So I was really wrong in the early stages. I. I just really wasn't feeling it too much. I didn't think it was ugly, but I really just wasn't feeling it. Now that I actually have built it, I'm like, you know what? This is a solid MS. Um, I really wish I could say the same for the uh, the anime. Not really feeling Bill, uh, Bill Divers Re-Rise or whatever it's called. Yeah, Re-Rise. But you know what? I'm still gonna give it a chance. And I think that's the important part. It's just giving this a little bit of a chance. Now the rest of the line of all the other kits, man, I'm not really feeling most of them. So I'll probably stick to the core Gundam and all of its different armors, and that's really gonna be about it. I don't think I can really see myself getting into this line um, as big as I did with the Build Fighters series, but we'll see. Um, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and like always, if you can, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications of future videos, uh, which will be coming around the corner because we got a lot of goodness. Maybe not as much in November, uh, but I have a lot of stuff I really need to get to in the backlog, so you're going to be seeing a lot more content come November that is pure Gumpla, pure figures, and not just mobile games. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.